There is new reporting this evening after a secret U.S. mission in Yemen turned deadly. A Navy SEAL was killed, the Pentagon now revealing his identity. Chief Special Warfare Operator William Ryan Owens from Illinois. He was part of the team raiding an Al-Qaeda compound, this combat death, the first of the Trump administration. And tonight the question, did Al-Qaeda know the Americans were coming? Here's ABC's Chief Global Affairs Correspondent, Martha Raddatz. The raid started going terribly wrong from the beginning. The mission targeting the Al-Qaeda operations compound had been in the works for months. But as the team of Navy SEALs, flown in secretly from a U.S. warship, and dozens of partner forces approached the compound, the SEALs were met by withering gunfire. A source familiar with the raid told us today it was clear Al-Qaeda knew the Americans were coming. The Pentagon says male and female combatants took up positions with heavy weapons. The intense firefight in close quarters, leaving SEAL William Ryan Owens dead, three other Americans wounded. An Osprey was called in to medevac the wounded, but in the darkness and dust, a hard landing left three more Americans injured. The Pentagon says at least 14 Al-Qaeda fighters were killed, but officials are also assessing reports that the firefight left dead the eight-year-old daughter, her picture posted online, of radical American-born cleric Anwar al-Awlaki, killed in 2011. And Martha Raddatz with us live from Washington. Martha, as you just reported, sources telling you that Al-Qaeda seemed to know the Americans were coming. The White House today did say, though, that the SEALs, uh, quote, recovered a tremendous amount of information. Uh, they did, David. This mission from the beginning was meant to gather valuable intelligence from that compound. It's why President Trump signed off on it. And despite al-Qaeda's efforts to fight off the SEALs, they still managed to grab electronics with data they hope will help prevent future terror attacks. David. All right. Martha Raddatz with us tonight. Thank you, Martha.